before we get to actually folding up our cube, I'd like to take a little bit closer look at these inside bevels that we cut. It's important when we cut these that we make sure that we don't score all the way through the material. I actually managed to do that on one of these, and it makes for a really ugly edge, or at least a little bit more finicky gluing. So the closer we can get to an absolute zero score on this edge, the closer we can be to having a really well-crafted cube model. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate on this piece here how to score that, that uh, inside line and make sure that you're not cutting through the opposite piece and also cut out this inside bevel uh, in such a way that you don't cut all the way through and kind of ruin your nice beautiful folded edge. So what I'm going to do is begin with the scoring just like I did last time on the cube. And I'm going to place my ruler on here like this and I'm just going to very very carefully cut this piece but not all the way through. And on that first pass I barely made it through the first layer of material and on the second pass I can feel that I'm actually going all the way through. And I'm going to take one last pass and I can feel in my knife that I'm into something else which means that I've just barely cut through that last layer. This is just a really good practice thing to do is to practice cutting those lines and then sort of reverse folding the piece a little bit like that and if you hear any crinkling or crackling or when you fold it you see anything other than a really clean line on the inside like that then you've actually cut just a little bit too far or not far enough. The crinkling is actually the foam material breaking which means you haven't cut far enough and any uh, sort of like tearing noise that you might hear is probably the paper tearing itself on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I haven't folded this full 90. I've kind of gone maybe 22 and a half or, or 30 degrees there. And I'm, before I do fold it all the way, I'm going to flip it over like this. And I'm going to look at the opposite side. And what I can see is that I've got a little tiny bit of just sort of wrinkling happening on the back side, which is common for this type of material when it's folded without being scored. But that's okay, because all I wanted to do was test to make sure that I'd come all the way through uh, that material. Now that I know that I am, and I didn't hear any crinkling noises as I tried to open up that gap, I'm going to follow the same procedure that I did before and cut these two inside bevels so that I can then properly score the material for a nice clean fold on the opposite side. There's one. And remember on this second one, I can see my knife tip, which means I can really follow close and know that I'm not cutting all the way through, and that in fact I'm, I'm scoring that, that layer of material there. So now that I have that that far, I can see my material is still pretty rigid. It, it doesn't want to fold, and I have to put pressure on it to fold it, because this is basically a piece of poster board on here. If I hold it up to the light, I can see that it's thin enough that I can see light through it, but it's not quite ready to fold yet because I'm not confident that I'm scored all the way through. So now, in the most careful way that I can, I need to follow a straight line and really score this nice and straight. And I'm going to do that by visually sliding straight down my knife. I'm going to use the bevel itself to make sure that my, my knife isn't rolling back and forth. And I'm going to use a really, really low angle so that I don't run the risk of cutting all the way through. And I'm going to go nice and slow and verify that I come out on the line that I started on here on my board. I started on this line up here, and I ended up on the same line down here, which means I'm pretty confident that that was a good sort of first pass for scoring. And I'm going to carefully, carefully do that again without cutting all the way through. And now I can feel that that's giving way just a little bit more. And I'm going to give it one more very, very light. I'm barely putting pressure on my knife like that so that I can guarantee that when I actually fold this up and I bring it to a full 90, that I have a nice clean edge out here like this. And to clean it up even further, I'm going to use the back edge of my knife like this, the handle of my knife, 
to sort of polish that edge from both sides so that any wrinkles that formed in the folding process just blend right into the piece. And what you should see when you hold it up in the light is one nice strong dark line from the lit face to the dark face. And you want to repeat that process on every one of these lines uh, when you go ahead and cut your pattern.